Hello. Last time I showed you guys how to make a pixelation effect in my uh, tutorial with how to make your game look uh, more retro, but I realized that the pixelation effect in the post process, it only applies to your game, so and it doesn't affect your UI. So today, I figured out how to also uh, make an effect that applies to your UI only uh, so that you can put it on a pixelation on your UI as well so you don't have to remake all of your UI if you're make if you're using like a framework like I'm using here For in this tutorial I will be using the souls like framework I'm not sponsored by this or anything I'm just using it and I, I, I quite like it so I'm giving it a free plug I will link the uh, Fab Marketplace link in the description. Uh, this is made by Isaac Dev, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, anyways, I really like it, so I'll give it a shout out. Anyways, open up your HUD that you're trying to apply this to, or your your widget blueprint. You can apply this to any widget blueprint. As you can see here, it's pixelated now. You could decrease it a little bit or make it more. Uh, or you could apply different ones to different parts of your UI. So uh, if you want something a little bit more pixelated, let's say the text is smaller somewhere, you want it a little bit less pixelated, you could only apply uh, a retainer box, which is what we're doing it with, and wrap it in that one instead. Or I, I don't know if that would work actually, if they're all in the same one and wrapped in the retainer box. Hmm. You might have to figure out something else if you want to uh, wrap them in different retainer boxes. But anyways, I will show you today a method to wrap your whole um, widget in a retainer box with a material. Anyways... Um, I'll be disabling this one for a bit. So you go over here to your overlay that's the, that your UI is connected to. And or I guess you could go in, in your overlay and set it differently. Then you have to do it for each one separately. Should be a lot of work. But anyways, right click it and go wrap with and then click retainer box. And then inside of the retainer box here, you'll see the texture parameter. I'll just leave it as texture. You could name this something else, but this will be used inside of our material. Then, uh, I don't think you need to compile it yet, but do it anyways, just to be safe. Make a new folder. Oh, it's something like pixelate UI. Make a new material. Let's call it MA underscore pixelate UI. Open it up. Now, uh, come over here to the left and change the material domain to user interface. Change the blend mode to translucent. Then hold one on your keyboard and left click to spawn in one of these, a value. Uh, set this to something like... Uh, I'll just do 666. You will uh, copy paste it, then uh, right click and look for append vector, drag these two into the same one, then floor these two, then uh, multiply. But plug it into the B and then the A. 
spawn in a texture coordinate, just leave it at zero. And we're gonna floor these two again. And divide. And divide this floor and this floor. And then plug this into, oh, don't plug it in yet. Uh, do texture parameter 2D. Texture sample parameter 2D. Then name this the same as you named uh, your your texture parameter here. I'll just copy it. Make sure it's named exactly the same for this to work. Then plug the RGB into the final color and plug the A into the opacity. Go ahead and hit apply. Save. Then go back to your HUD. Go to the retainer box. Effect material. And I think we call it pixelate UI. Go ahead and apply it. And boom, there you go. Your UI is now pixelated. You can change it over here. Do it lower or higher. A lower value will make it more pixelated. A higher value will make it less pixelated. Don't worry about this. Uh, texture that's in there. This is just the default texture it shows here as a uh, as a uh, an example. It won't get applied to your UI. It's using the UI texture for it. Uh, put this here. Uh, if you want to, you could change these into parameters and call them width and height, and then uh, change your material into a material material instance and then you could open that up and change the values but uh, you could just come in here and do it or I guess you could do it up here then or something maybe I don't know anyways I'll just leave it like this uh, I'll show you in game real quick As you can see in the top right corner, that little UI widget is pixelated now. And the health, and the one in the bottom right corner. Uh, let me apply my other one. For the level that we made in the last video, uh, I will link the video in the top right corner right now, so you can check that one out if you want it on your level as well. Talking here and just scrolling. Asset reference. In that one we did make a material instance. Uh, then we need to do infinite extent. Unbound still. There we go. This one is a little bit over the top for this level. Usually, I'm I'm in more of a dark level, and <laughs> it doesn't look this this uh, overly pixelated. But uh, you can decrease it the pixelation. Anyways, uh, I hope you learned something from this video or enjoyed it, and anyways, see you in the next video. Bye!